Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is checking out a few thoughts that I've had on Microsoft To Do. It's been a couple of days since they launched, and although it's in preview, I just wanted to share a few additional thoughts. If you haven't seen my full review, it's now available on YouTube to watch. So feel free to go and watch it, and if you haven't, do subscribe as well. It's free and I put out regular videos. So let's get it started with a few of my musings. Now I'm on the Mac and I'm on the web version of To Do. They only have it available on um, iOS, web, and Android at the moment. And the experience is very similar. So as I said in the review, the design is the same. Just wanted to touch on the My Day function. I love the My Day function. I think it's the, one of the best things about the new Microsoft To Do. Um, and what they've done here, if you don't know, is if you can create a task inside of My Day or inside of a uh, this, uh, it's like a separate different uh, folder. Uh, what I mean by folder here is uh, list. You hit add My Day and it goes into My Day. That's lovely. Like you've got yourself a really nice experience here because you've got a base for the day. You know what you're going to be completing. The only thing that it faults on here is that if you've got a due date um, and you've set it for another time and you've added it to my day, then the due date doesn't matter. Like it will only highlight in red or yellow of when it's coming up or has been overdue, which I find quite weird. Going down to here, after thinking about the notes function inside of here, I'm not too sure it's amazing. Like if you've got collaboration and you started to add them down here, it's gonna be pretty messy uh, in terms of being able to add different notes and being able to search them here, it's gonna be pretty tough. One thing I have enjoyed is the iconography on reminder and add due date. You've got a simple way to quickly add a different due date and also time, which is quite nice. I found that feature pretty easy to use. Now, suggestions is something that has been uh, like really impressive, actually, like being able to grab any to do's that are on other lists and being able to put them in my day instantly. That's quite handy um, because sometimes a to do might slip or go through the loop inside of a to do uh, or inside of an inbox. And you've got that there. The one thing I don't like is actually not having the seven day in advance function. There's no search queries as well so you can't actually see the future items you've got coming up which is pretty tough uh, because you're not able to see that advanced features. Um, I do obviously like the lists and the way they've made the emoji and themes available in there and they've also done the high completed to do which I find very impressive. The other thing that I haven't enjoyed is the inbox function. They actually haven't made an inbox function. That's something I've pre-created. They should definitely add that. Anyway, guys, I actually wanted to specifically ask you what your thoughts are on the Microsoft To Do, whether you've play played around with the web or the iPhone version or the Android. I'd love to hear your thoughts because it's an important move by Microsoft. Killing off Thunderlist and doing this is something that a lot of you guys have had strong opinions on. So feel free to add in the comments some of your thoughts. I'd really love to hear them specifically. Um, what are your thoughts after seven days of using it? Um, I'd love to love to hear. Anyway, guys, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and I'm looking forward to sharing more features with you in the near future. Anyway, guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.